If you just started an LLC, it's important to open a business checking account right away. Today, we're gonna to discuss five of the best business checking accounts for you. We'll go through the pros and cons of each service and also the important questions, like if you need a different bank account for each LLC or what features you should be aware of. So first, let's talk about the six features you need to look at when comparing checking accounts. Monthly fee the annual percentage yield, ATM fees, cash deposit fees, transaction fees, and what the minimum deposit is. With that in mind, let's discuss the five best business checking accounts. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about whether or not you'll need a separate checking account for each LLC. So let's begin. Chase. Chase is a bank that needs very little introduction when it comes to banking. It has one of the largest ATM networks in the United States and internationally, making it a favorite for cash deposits. Chase has a waivable $15 monthly fee and the first 20 transactions are free. However, there is no annual percentage yield. After that, each transaction costs around 40 cents, which is a bit expensive in the long run. Cash deposit fees are $2.50 for every thousand after you deposit $5,000. You'll also have to pay $2.50 per transaction on ATM along with any charges when you use a non-Chase ATM. Overall, Chase is a solid option if you want to go for one of the big banks. But if you don't care about that, consider some of these other options. First, Internet Bank. First Internet Bank is a favorite for anyone that wants to go digital and at almost no cost at all. The monthly fees are zero and there are no transaction fees, no minimum deposits, and no ATM fees. In fact, FIB actually reimburses up to $10 a month in ATM fees that you would otherwise be charged. One major downside to FIB is the fact that you can't make cash deposits. This is mainly a bank you wanna use on your phone. It's not anything like a traditional bank. However, it's still a great option. And on top of that, you even get a 0.3 APY on balances over $10,000. That's not insanely lucrative, but it's something. So just a quick note, there are links in the description for all the checking accounts we mentioned in this video. Some of these might be affiliate links, which means you'll get the best possible promotion available and we might earn a small commission from it. It's a smart idea to get your checking account set up ASAP because it will make your life as an entrepreneur a lot easier. Now let's take a look at the three remaining options. Capital One. Capital One is another traditional bank like Chase, but in many cases, it's a lot better. It has the same waivable $15 monthly fee that Chase does, but to make up for it, it offers unlimited free transactions. There's no APY on this one either, which is to be expected from a traditional bank, but you do get free ATM use on a massive network that includes Capital One, MoneyPass, and all point ATMs. However, Capital One has a $250 minimum deposit, making it the only bank on our list with a minimum deposit. As far as traditional banks are concerned, Capital One is much better than Chase. However, the other two banks on our list blow everything else out of the water. So let's check those out. Novo. Nova is by far the easiest bank that anyone can use right now. And to make things even better, you have to pay almost nothing to use it. There are no monthly fees, no transaction fees, no minimum deposit, and all ATM fees, regardless of what ATM you use, will be refunded to you. The only downside of this bank is the fact that you can only deposit cash through money orders, but that comes with no fees at all. There's also no APY, but considering almost everything is free, I wouldn't complain at all when using this bank. All right, Bluevine. In my opinion, Bluevine business checking account has it all. It's one of the only banks that you get an APY of 1.5%, while other ones on our list have nothing or FIB, which does have 0.3. There are very few charges you have to worry about. There's no monthly fee, transaction fee, or minimum deposit. MoneyPass ATMs are also free for Blue Vine cardholders, and the only cost you have to worry about are cash deposits, which cost around $4.95 per deposit done through Green Dot locations. Additionally, you also get a free debit card, two free checkbooks a year, live customer support, and even a line of credit. In all honesty, it's hard to beat a deal like that. It's sort of a toss-up between Novu and Blue Vine, since they're both incredibly cost-effective but that's your decision to make. 
So now let's answer the question on whether or not you need separate checking accounts for each and every LLC. So one important thing to understand is that your own personal checking account needs to be separate from your LLC checking account. This is to avoid commingling, which can get you into some legal trouble. In the same sense, you need a separate checking account for all of your different LLCs because they're all distinct entities that are liable for themselves. This holds true if you have multiple rental properties owned in separate LLCs. Now you might be wondering how you can pay yourself from your LLC. If you click on the next video, you'll see on the screen, we're going to show you the right way of doing that. And I will catch you guys on the next video.